Hi guys, this is Varun from Phone Arena and here we are going to be comparing the Galaxy S3 from Samsung and also the Galaxy Nexus from Samsung. So as you can see, the one on the left is the Galaxy S3, the latest quad-core phone from Samsung and the one on the right is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which was the first ice cream sandwich phone. So in terms of looks, they almost look the same. I think the Galaxy S3 has got a lot of design cues from the Galaxy Nexus. The key difference is that the Galaxy Nexus has no physical keys, uh, whereas the Galaxy S3 uh, has the uh, home key, similar to the Galaxy S2. Also, you have the uh, back and uh, menu key. You also have the power lock switch on the sides over here on uh, both the phones. So, as you can see, both the phones have the power lock key on the side. So, in terms of specs, the Galaxy S3 packs a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED HD display. As you can see, the display is pretty nice and uh, Samsung says it's designed for humans, um, inspired by nature or something like that. So it's, you were using some water doppler, uh, dop drops as sound effects and all that. So all that is cool. So the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is a stock Android device, no extra stuff from Samsung, it just runs plain Android ice cream sandwich and you don't get the uh, TouchWiz 4.0 which is running on the Galaxy S3 as you can see here this is the uh, Galaxy uh, S3 running uh, with the TouchWiz uh, touch 4.0 upgrade and this is the stock ice cream sandwich experience on the Galaxy Nexus so what else is different? so in terms of uh, design it's almost the same uh, in terms of looks except for the menu key here and um, let's uh, check out the back so in terms of the back cover um, slightly different design on the S3 um, it's still very plasticky and uh, the camera uh, on the Galaxy S3 it's an 8 megapixel camera pretty nice camera with, and Samsung claims it's zero shutter lag I already have zero shutter lag on, the, on my Galaxy Nexus I don't know what's really different on the S3 I'm going to try it out. So it's an 8MP sensor right here and it's a 5MP on the Galaxy Nexus. We have an LED flash on both the phones and the speaker uh, goes on the top near the camera on the S3 whereas it's on the bottom on the Nexus. The micro USB port uh, which also acts as a MHL uh, port for TV out uh, is on the bottom and interestingly the uh, headphone um, uh, jack, the remote headphone jack is on the top on the uh, Galaxy S3 whereas it's on the uh, bottom on the Galaxy Nexus as you can see the Galaxy Nexus has a curvy design contour glass uh, display it's not really very curvy the S3 but still you can see that uh, it's a, got a smooth uh, design as well so the Galaxy Nexus has seriously inspired the uh, uh, design of the S3 that's pretty evident when you grip both the phones in your hand um, so on the front you have a 1.9 MP camera on the uh, S3 whereas you have a 1.3 MP uh, camera on the uh, Galaxy Nexus in terms of memory um, both come with 16 GB of uh, inbuilt memory the good part about the Galaxy S3 is that it also packs a micro SD card slot so that you can actually add more up to about 64 GB of data so that means you can have up to 80 GB of data on your Galaxy S3 whereas it's restricted to just 16 gigabytes on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, the Galaxy Nexus packs a 1750mAh battery only. Uh, thank God both these phones have removable batteries. So the Galaxy Nexus has a 1750mAh battery but the S3 actually packs a much bigger 2100mAh uh, battery. What this means that you actually get very good talk time numbers on the spec sheets I'm not sure uh, how it translates to in real life but um, the um, Galaxy S3 claims about Samsung claims about 22.5 hours over 2G talk time and about 11 and a half hours on 3G whereas the Nexus gets about 17.5 hours on 2G and only about 8.4 hours on 3G so these are uh, pretty good numbers and Samsung has actually managed to pack a uh, 2100mAh battery uh, on the S3 and it's still thinner by about 0.3mm uh, uh, compared to the Nexus which is a great thing 
and uh, Samsung is actually uh, traded off by going with a micro SIM card slot on the S3 compared to a full SIM card slot on the uh, Galaxy Nexus. So apart from that, uh, you have a quad core processor on the uh, S3 as I already told you and there's a, only a dual core processor on the Nexus. Nexus came out much earlier than the S3. So. Apart from that, the S3 runs on Bluetooth, uh, supports Bluetooth 4.0, whereas the Nexus supports only Bluetooth 3.0. There's no FM radio on the Nexus, sadly, but it is there on the S3. So the S3 is pretty much feature loaded, like almost every feature is there on the S3, except for the camera key, which I really want. So, so that was a quick uh, look at the, pretty much the hardware and spec comparison between the Galaxy Nexus and the Galaxy S3. Thanks for watching.